Hey what's up everyone this is Sherry and we are back with another amazing video and yes today I will be customizing my smartphone with Microsoft Launcher. So before we start the video I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my channel. Let's move ahead and open the launcher. I've been using this launcher for quite some time and I can say that I am quite satisfied with the options that we can see in Microsoft Launcher. So first we have to set it as a default launcher. Let's do that. Alright so this is the initial look that you will get when you open the launcher but I am going to customize it in my own way and in the process of doing so I will be telling you guys all of the options that you can use to customize it to the way you like. So open up the launcher settings. Let's leave the wallpaper as it is and move on to the themes. Ok so we have the system theme selected which is in the dark mode right now. Leave the opacity at 100%. And we can also change the accent color. I think I will go with the light shade of blue for now. Alright. Next is home screen. So my preference for columns is 4 because with that number home screen doesn't look much cluttered. And rows would be 6 but I will be making icon size smaller. Let's leave the other settings as it is and move on to my favorite icon appearance option. Ok so I have already downloaded these two icon packs which are free on google play store. I use these two almost all the time. If you want to use some other icons you can also purchase them or use the free version from play store. And I will be giving links in the description for some cool icon packs so do check them out. Ok so next option is folder appearance. So you can choose any options you like for the folders. One thing that we can do is if you want the folders to open in full screen we can turn on this option. Ok so notification badges is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just give the launcher the permission to show notifications. So we can either see dots on the apps or we can see numbers of notification on the apps. The next option you would like to uncheck this one because if you don't do that then you would have to open the apps every time just to make that dot disappear which is pretty much annoying. Ok so we have some advanced options as well. I will just turn on the add new apps to home screen option and uh, let's just move on. Ok so the dock mode. For default it is set to always shown. I can also change it to hidden. If we do that, we won't see the dock on the home screen. For bottom row, we are going to leave it at 2. Again, I will change the number of columns to 4. Ok, then we will go to app drawer and open display grid. Now I want my screen apps to be shown through horizontal swipe and let's leave the other settings as it is. Alright now gestures are the most important feature. So when I swipe down from my home screen I want my notification panel to open. Let's uh, open this option and change it to expand notification. Also double tap to screen lock which is set by default. You can work around the other gestures as well but these two are the most important ones. Alright so the next one I don't want feed on my home screen so I will just turn this off. And moving on uh, next is the search bar. First uh, let's change the search engine to google. Then in search style I will change it to round. And let's not change the other settings. Next in work mode what you can do is basically you can separate your work apps like if you are using Microsoft Teams to communicate with your office colleague, you can put that one in the work folder. That way everything will be organized. Ok so the basic settings are done and now moving on to the home screen settings. Let me add some widgets.
Looks cool. Now let me add another page and I will add some necessary apps on the home screen. Okay, so the apps are arranged on the home screen. Now I have to add another widget and uh, it's the device care widget. So this is what my home screen looks like and I have done almost all of the settings. So you just have to play around with all the settings and at the end, if this video helped you, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. So that's it for today guys, see you soon in the next video.